Hey guys, Tark with FPV Professor, and I'm doing a video right now for anybody that's uh, using one of our plug-in pilot systems and is using the Hot RC radio. A lot of the schools will be using this. If you're a student at one of your schools, you may be using this radio, or if you're using this at home using one of our plug-in pilot kits, this may be the radio you're using. So if this is the one you've got, watch this video, and I'm gonna show you how to set it up with your drone and how to get it configured to work with Betaflight, okay? So there's a few things I wanna do first. Um, what we wanna do first is go over how to bind this drone, okay? The first thing we wanna do with the binding is we wanna locate the bind button. And I'm going to show you, uh, I'm going to show you the bind button is. This is the hot RC receiver. Now, this is obviously not the one on the drone. The one that's in my drone, this is the Martian uh, 2 v 2 build. It has two stacks. If you have the Martian 2 uh, uh, 140 build that has one stack, it looks like this with one board instead of a uh, flight controller. You see, this is still going to apply to you, okay? So what you want to do is this. Here is the receiver, and right here is the bind button, okay? You can see that little button right about there. I'm trying to make sure you see it. And if you click it, you will you'll, you'll you can feel it click and you can hear it click, okay? That, on this particular build, that button is right here, all right? So I've put the receiver on the bottom, and the button is right here. So make sure you can locate that button, all right? And what I want you to do is I want you to press the button down while you turn on or plug in the, now I've got a, a DC uh, converter here, but I'm gonna turn the power on, but you could use your LiPo battery to turn that on. And what you're gonna see is this fast blinking green light, okay? So let's go ahead and let that blink fast and leave that there. And we're gonna bring our hot RC radio over here. And what I want you to do here is basically make sure all your switches are pushed away from you, pushed towards the front, okay? And we're gonna make sure all these four switches are all the way to the bottom under normal, and this switch where it says V-tail and Elevon, this switch is in the middle, not on the top, not on the bottom, right in the middle. So one's in the middle, these four are all the way pushed down to the bottom where it says normal right here, then you're gonna power it on. And watch what happens, once you power it on, your green light just went solid, okay? It's no longer blinking, that means you're bound, all right? Now if you'll notice here, I have disconnected my VTX, because I'm gonna have the drone on for a little bit and I don't want it to get overheated. So I've gone ahead and removed this, okay, and disconnected. So I would still encourage you, please unplug your VTX. Now, once you've done that, what we're gonna do is, now that we're bound, solid lights green, everything's good, we're gonna head on over to Betaflight. So let me show you this. And let me get that screen up for you here, okay? So we're in Betaflight right now. You remember this screen right here. Go ahead and do your reset Z-axis, calibrate your accelerometer. Okay, now I'm gonna do a few things because I've set this up for a different video. So I'm gonna delete what I've done here so that I can start fresh with you guys. So watch what we do. Okay, we're gonna come over here, come over here, come over here. I'm gonna click save. Then I'm gonna go to my receiver tab and I'm gonna reset it here. Okay, so this may be more of what you see. I'm not sure if this is what you're gonna be seeing, but we're gonna go through it, ready? Here's what we're gonna do. First things first, let's go ahead and click connect. Reset our Z-axis, calibrate our accelerometer, look at our ports. And we have UART1 for our serial port. Your, if you're using the uh, other setup, uh, it may still be UART1. Uh, so let's just go ahead and work with that no matter which one. It may be UART3, uh, depending on if you're using the single board or not, but just follow with this video either way and you can adjust. Uh, <coughs> your port would have been adjusted already in the video that we just did if you're, <coughs> if you're using the V1, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so we have this set here. Uh, configuration is fine. Everything looks good here. What we really need to do is focus on a receiver. So now that we're bound, oh, but look, we move the sticks and nothing happens. And that's because we have not set our receiver mode yet. So let's drop that in here and let's go to serial via UART. And then let's make sure right here is selected S bus. Now watch what happens when we click save and reboot. Once we do that, we've now selected the right protocol. When we click connect and we go back to receiver, all of a sudden when we move our sticks, Look at our drone, it's reacting. You can see it doing exactly this, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and flip this thing back over and there we go, all right? Now, let me scroll down a little bit and show you what we're gonna be looking for. First thing is, you need to make sure that your sticks are somewhat in the, uh, when they're in the middle position, they are reading uh, 1500, okay? That's what we want. If you look at my drone right now, I'm not even moving my stick and the drone is actually still kind of in this forward uh, pitch okay and that's because you can see here my pitch is at 1503 now you can flick the flick the stick here on the right side just see if you can flick it back and see where it goes you see how it goes to 1501 and so forth there's not much of a problem here so I wouldn't worry about adjusting it all right but if you wanted to adjust it you could easily just use your right your uh, your your sub trims here and you could get it so if you feel like it's too high and it's never going to adjust then just use your sub trims and this, these little switches right here, right here, right here, right here, 
and uh, you can adjust it to where it's always at 1500, okay? That's what I just did. Now, let's look at our two switches, okay? Our switch is here. This is auxiliary one. That's the top left switch, and it's a three position switch. One is forward, two is middle, and three is towards you. Our second switch, this switch right here doesn't do anything. It's not connected to do anything. Our second switch is the top right switch, and it's a two position, two position switch. Position one is away from you, position two is towards you, and that's gonna be auxiliary two in beta flight. Cool, let's look at our sticks real quick. The left stick is throttle. When you push it up, that's throttle, and you can see throttle moving on beta flight. When you move it left and right, that's gonna be your yaw, and that's basically gonna spin the drone left or right on its axis. Okay, just like that, a flat spin. Let me kind of level this out so we can see the drone, okay? There we go. All right, now, if you look at the right stick, the right stick is going to be a pitch. Uh, if you go forward and backwards, that's gonna do front flips and back flips, okay? And if you go left and right with it, it's gonna do rolls, left roll and right roll. And everything is functioning perfect. So now, you can kind of practice your flying by just putting the drone right back where it needs to be. Perfect, okay? Well, kind of, there you go. All right, so now, now that we've got our drone functioning properly, we're not gonna really worry about what's on this side of the screen right now, it's not important. What we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and we wanna go to our modes tab, okay? This is very important, so pay close attention to this. Let's go to modes. Okay, so what we're gonna do is normally I would put the arm switch on the left and the mode switch on the right, but for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and put the mode switch on the left and the arm switch on the right because I'm either, I want a two switch for arm and disarm and I wanna use three different modes for how I'm gonna fly. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna set the arm first. So go ahead and go to your arm link here, this little button that says add range, I want you to click it. You see how it says auto right here? I want you to flip the switch back and forth, okay? Now forward is gonna be off and you can see where the, the indicator is right here. So towards you is gonna be armed. So you need to take this yellow box, click in the middle of it and drag it over so that this uh, indicator, it falls within this yellow box, okay? So now look, disarmed, armed, disarmed and armed. And I'll show you how the computer's gonna show you that in a second. Now let's go to our modes. Angle mode is gonna be the easiest and safest way. It's a, the easiest way to fly. Basically, angle mode restricts how much of an angle you can put on the drone so you don't accidentally start doing flips and rolls. And it also self levels, okay? It's, it goes back to horizon uh, state. So if you're going forward and you stop, the drone will level itself back out and be parallel to the ground. So we're gonna make that the, the, um, the mode that's closest to us. So when you turn this on, we're gonna flip the switch all the way down and that's gonna be our safest mode, which is gonna be angle mode. So click add range, then go to your left switch and flick it all the way down. And then take the, grab the center of the yellow box and slide it all the way over to where it's above that indicator. The next easiest mode is gonna be horizon mode. This does not prevent you from doing extreme angles, but it does still self-level the quad, okay? So this one, you can do flips and rolls, but when you let go, it's gonna level the quad. It's gonna stay in horizon, okay, uh, parallel to the ground. So we're gonna set that mode as our middle mode, so click add range, flip your left uh, switch again, and you can see now in middle mode, when your switch is in the middle, it's actually in horizon mode already. The next mode, which is gonna be the advanced mode, so please don't use this one until you're more than prepared to fly, you're gonna do the um, angle mode, I'm um, sorry, the um, acro mode with air. So we're gonna scroll down to you see air mode right here. Click add range and flip your left switch again. Now leave it all the way forward, position one, and drag this box over. This is by far the most aggressive flying that you can be doing with this drone is in acro mode with air, okay? So if you're not in angle mode or horizon mode, then you're gonna be in a very aggressive mode, so be very careful, make sure you're ready for it. There's no auto-correcting, auto-leveling, anything. This is strictly what you give it. If you go forward, you have got to come backwards to level it back out or else it'll just keep going forward, okay? So pay attention to that. Now that you've got these three modes in place, arm, you've got your arm switch and you've got angle, horizon, and air mode, go ahead and click save, okay? Now watch what happens. See how that arm mode is already red? Let's turn it off. And there we go, we'll flip that switch and everything is good to go, okay? So now we've got our mode set, let's show you how they work. So we're gonna go to the motors tab real quick. And to get your radio to work when you're plugged into the computer, you have got to activate this little switch right here that says, I understand the risks. Please make sure there's no propellers on the drone. Uh, that goes without saying, just make sure you don't have any props. Flip this switch, okay? Now, pay attention to something. You see in your setup here, um, let's look at your degrees. Okay, so we wanna make sure, we wanna tell the drone that we're level, remember? So before you take off, you wanna do this, you wanna calibrate accelerometer. Now watch this. I'm gonna go to our motors tab, okay? 
and we're going to go ahead and flip this to angle mode. That's the safest mode and hit arm. Okay. Now, the one thing you have to make sure of is check out how we didn't, how it didn't start. The motors are not spinning. And if you look at why, look at where my throttle is. By safety, you cannot arm this drone if the throttle is above 1050. Okay. So let's take the throttle all the way down. Let's disable. Okay. And then what we're going to want to do is, uh, let's see, we've got our auxiliary one, we've got an angle mode. So let's go ahead and go back to our motors. Okay. Let's arm it right here. Now let's flip the switch. Now our motors are spinning. See that right there? So we're ready to go. And now you can just gently move the sticks and you can hear the response from your drone. That means it's working. And look, look at the screen. So if I go, if I pitch forward, then I'm going to see my two back motors kick up, and that's motors one and three. If I pitch to go backwards, I'm going to see my front motors two and four because it's going to try to flip me backwards. And the same thing if I want to roll to the left, then my right motors one and two are going to go up higher. And if I want to roll to the right, then three and four are going to go up higher. Okay? So it should make perfect sense. This is exactly what you're looking for. Let's go ahead and disarm it. One last thing that I want to show you before we call it a day on this one is what happens when you're not level. So let's go to setup here. Okay, reset and calibrate. If you remember correctly, if we go to configuration tab, if you remember correctly, right here, actually yours probably says 25. All right, because I believe by default we had it at 25. That is the arming angle. That is the maximum angle before you cannot arm, right? So let's go back there again. And let me show you what happens. So in configuration, we have this safety feature right here, arming. Maximum arm angle, meaning if you're at 25 degrees or less, I think it's like right under 25 or less, you can arm the quad. But if you're at 25 or over, you're done. It's not gonna work, okay? So let me show you what happens. Let's go to motors and we're gonna go ahead and flip the switch, okay? And we're gonna arm it, okay? See how it's armed? Everything's running, right? Now watch. We're gonna take this and we're gonna angle this up to 26.6 degrees and we're gonna try to arm. Nothing, okay? But if you take it below, it will. So we'll go to 24.2, no problem. But if you go to 25.1, it will not arm. I think 25 it will, just not, let's see, 25. Okay, 25 it does, 25.1, no. Okay, so we have, a, we have an angle there that we've got to stay under. Now, 25 is a big angle. So what I would tell you is I like to make sure that people always calibrate their accelerometer, always try to keep this level, okay? So I would say, look, you can leave it there, but I could take mine down to, let's say, oh, I don't know, uh, 10 degrees even, okay? 10 degrees, that's pretty safe. So if I click 10 degrees, or if I put 10 degrees in and click save and reboot, okay, then I know that um, under normal conditions, I'm at zero degrees. I, I, if, I, if I go to my motors tab and I click arm, I'm set, watch, ready? Oh, there we go, and arm, okay? And if I go to my setup and I angle this up right past 10 degrees, nothing's gonna happen. Okay, that's pretty much it. You set the degrees where you want, but everything else now is perfect. You are ready to go. You can test your motors. You can make sure that motors one and four are spinning to the right. Motors two and three are spinning counterclockwise to the left. You're good to go. Everything here looks great. Guys, you're ready to put some propellers on this thing and fly, okay? So with that said, you're done programming your remote, okay? One thing I do want to point out to you is this, and the reason the angle mode is so important, I mean, not the angle mode, but the angle of, of, of being able to arm. A lot of people will take their drones when they crash and they'll carry their controller and they'll go to pick up their drone and turn it over. The problem is, is if you set your angle mode too high, let's say you set it to 180 degrees, that means that it's disarmed. There's no protection from angle at this point, okay? So at any angle, you can arm it. I've seen people carry their radios and their drones and accidentally hit the arm switch while they're carrying it and it arms, okay? And it cuts them up. I mean, it's painful, it's brutal because they didn't want the inconvenience of having to go get their drone and level it out. I promise you, it is safer, smarter, and better to make sure you have the restrictions on you as much as possible so you get used to practicing the right technique, all right? There you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope that helps you. And I'll be coming out with some more for you guys who did the plug-in pilot systems. Thank you, guys. Safe flying. Stay warm, and we'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.